2009 Mercedes GL 550 demonstrating FTV's NTG3 multi-purpose interface and here you can see video or actually DVD video and now we're going to auxiliary which is our iPad And we have a rear seat entertainment output. How you doing, Derek? Good, how about you, Monique? Good. Now, the nice thing about the rear seat entertainment is that you can select it as the active audio source for the rear. And once this is highlighted, you could select any other source on your radio, such as radio, iPad, or any other audio source, and your rear screens still play your DVD movie or your auxiliary movie or auxiliary video. Another nice feature is the ability to select a secondary auxiliary audio which is called rear. By selecting this auxiliary audio you can enjoy a secondary audio source. You may as well select aux and listen to the auxiliary audio source which is located in your glove box and shared with the video input. So again you have a choice of selecting auxiliary audio video or built-in DVD video. By default once the vehicle is shifted out of gear and while remote in motion you will see this screen by double clicking the voice recognition button twice the video in motion is now enabled once again double clicking the voice recognition button twice video in motion disabled and trying to get a better shot here double clicking enabled If your vehicle was not equipped with the features demonstrated in this movie, you may program your vehicle using our NTG3 interface by pressing a few buttons. For example, to, pre to program a backup camera, you would press the voice recognition off button and the phone talk button simultaneously for 6 seconds, followed by a diagnostic screen on the radio, followed by a radio reset, and now your radio is programmed with the appropriate features.